let me mention that I'm in collaboration with Katie with Life with the Love Days. The theme is Croctober, where we share crock pot recipes. Check her out. I am making homemade vegetable soup today. And what I'm doing is shucking. I have already started shucking some, you know, to make the, uh, the process a little bit sooner. These are the ones I've already shucked so far. I have four. And all you do is simply just pull the corn, the, um, the corn husks. At the bottom of it, you're gonna, since it has this little thing at the bottom, I'm just gonna grab it and pop it off. Okay, so that's one. And I'm gonna make sure I get all the loose hair off. Cause when I'm getting ready to cut the hair, uh, cut the corn off the stock, then it'll be, uh, it shouldn't have any hair strands in it. And I normally hold it up to the light. So I'm gonna have to use this light right here to hold it up to make sure that I've cleaned it pretty good. Cause nobody wants to have any strands of corn in their soup, at least I don't. You already got a, when you're cooking it and you're cooking on top of the stove and you're biting into it, you get some in between your teeth. I don't like that feeling. So I'm just gonna keep cleaning off till I see the majority of it cleared off. Make sure I get some of these hair strands out here. Okay, put that there. I have one more. Before I start getting the, the peeling the corn off the stock, I'm gonna show you what I already have put in the pot. This should be already simmering. I'm gonna be using corn, fresh carrots, bell pepper. Nicole bought all these fresh vegetables. They came in a huge box. I threw the box out, so I can't show you the box that they came from. But they are Georgia grown fruit vegetables. Okay, so let's walk over here to the pot. I use beef, beef frost. I have canned, canned tomato sauce. Well, I've already put apple cider vinegar, just two small caps, and I have cooking meat in here to give it flavor because I don't like to use a lot of salt products. In my um, broth that's simmering, I have paprika, lemon pepper, Old Bay seasoning, I have cumin, I just recently found out that cumin has a great taste. It's, it's a good taste. I love it. So I'm adding that to all my food now, my seasoning. And I use seasonal. I didn't use a lot. I did not put any sugar in my soup. Yes, some people use sugar. I'm not doing that. And let me show you what else I put in here. It was apple cider vinegar. I also use red hot pepper and a little hot sauce, okay? And I keep stirring it up so that all the flavors can meld together, okay? I also use onion powder. I didn't show it to you, but I, I do, I did see. You wanna go back in there and look at the pot? Okay. So now I'm going to go to the sink and rinse off, rinse off the corn so that I can start trying to cut it. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Nikia. You're welcome. That's my older daughter. You see, Junior used to do this. I used to like, oh, I want to do it. Now I can do it myself. Oh, and it's working so good. And the corn is, I like this corn too because it's fresh and you can tell it's homegrown because it's yellow. It's from someone's garden, which is the best, more nutritious for you. Oh my God, this is perfect. Make you want to just buy this all the time. And my mom, she and Junior, they used to make, uh, but they would do the corn like this, shuck it off and cut it down and then they were fried on top of the stove. 
I know a lot of people other than myself grew up in a household where we were from the country or even from Georgia uh, where they did this. That's that good home cooking. One more, to, one more to go, guys, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the pot so that these kernels can start cooking. Cause we don't want popcorn, we want soup. <laughs> Family, okay. So since I've already shook all that off, cut it off, and it's been shook. Oh, I did a good job. I'm going to. I'm going to in my pot with my uh, food, the meat that's already been simmered so I can get some of these juices from the meat and the spices that I put in here so we can have some homemade, start off my homemade vegetable. And stir that up. And I have these carrots, these humongous carrots. See guys, can a rabbit eat that? Good grief. <laughs> stir those around too so they can get in there and get all those delicious juices and spices with the corn well oh, I can't wait it's smelling so good okay so now I'm washing the tail I use cold water I don't use hot water when I'm cleaning my drinks because you always want to just keep everything in a cold environment it's like blanching so I am cutting up all these um, leaves off the lambs, off the stems, so that I can roll them up and just start cutting them up. some of these into the uh, crock pot. I'll take the top off. And I'm going to drop one of these little Greek peppers in it. Just give it some little spice. Not too much. That works kind of fast. The kale. I don't have any sous chefs to help me be cutting up stuff while I'm doing it. I'm having to do everything. It's okay. <laughs> so I'm having to do everything like a like June Cleaver, Hazel, the job watch those shows. Ward, <laughs> Leave it to Beaver. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm having to do everything. So, if they want to rush me, they can't rush me because 
I don't have a sushi after me. The rest of us are not camera ready. Okay. Say it again. I said people are, some people are trying to rush me, but you can't rush perfection. Right. So then when, when I get through, it's when I get through. <laughs> I'm going to toss these around in this pan so they pot so they can go to the bottom and let the other ones I put in go to the top. That's what you need to be doing. So everything could be cooking on the right side, uh, right temperature pretty much. Look at all this green. It's pretty. It smells good too. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this over just a little bit and then I'm gonna start mixing my... Um... Okay, so the ingredients that I'll be using to make my homemade cornbread is Martha White cornmeal mix. It's self-rising. When it's self-rising, it means it has all the salt, baking powder, already in it so it'll rise. I'm going to use eggs, buttermilk, mayonnaise, I like dupes, it's smooth and creamy, and I like to use unbleached all-purpose flour. Don't want to add too much because you already have self-rising flour, and butter. Okay, so I'm going to stir this up some more since I added some sugar, more sugar to it. And if you guys look at how it is, I'm going to let you see it. That's what, that's what I'm looking for. Now I'm going to pour this into my, tell them about this pan. Oh, the pan that I use, it was my brother's. Junior, I'm talking about him doing this whole process. This was my brother's my brother's pan, so it's been here longer than I have. So I'm gonna pour this delicious cornbread mix into my brother's pan, and it's gonna be even more taste better. Taste more better. Maybe I should do it like this. To every inch of it. I'm making a mess. Yep, I'm making a mess. But it's not too much. <laughs> Coach, I'm gonna make a mess. All right. Now, as I get ready to end, comment, like, and subscribe if you're interested. And the next time you see me, I'll show you the the end results of my homemade cornmeal mix and soup homemade soup vegetable soup bye bye okay so here's the results of the homemade soup see how how it looks I'm gonna stir it up a little bit making sure everything is incorporated with this Crock pot is gonna take a while, but it's it's everything is melded together, marrying pretty much. Okay, and the cornbread. That's the finished results of the cornbread. I did cut off a corner. It's perfect. It's good and it's moist. Okay, so that was it. Thank you for watching Cooking with Gigi. Thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing. Have a good day. The theme is Croptober, where we share crock pot recipes. And uh, go, go to her go to her website. It's Kate. Just gonna say go check her out. Check her out. Start over. <laughs> <laughs> The theme is Croctober, where we share Crock-Pot recipes. Check her out. Okay. The theme is Crock-Pot. Croctober. <laughs>
The theme is crock pot. Okay, <laughs> crocktober. The thing is crock popper. <laughs> Take 90. Go! The theme is Croctober. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> Check her out. That's not right. <laughs> what is Croctober? <laughs> the theme is. The theme is Croctober, where we share croc. croc top. Croc. <laughs> For crop over thing.